will be recorded. Be recorded. <laughs> All right, audio check, cameras on. Good to go. Good to go. All right, everyone, welcome. Hey, we welcome you to another, uh, I guess we can call these Success Academy recaps because I am Trader Travis, the lead trainer of Success Academy. I have my co-trainer, Peter, on the uh, uh, call with me today. Uh, these recaps for those who are new, uh, we go over our trades. Sometimes we play some live. We kind of walk through the market, and this is a very, very pivotal one because we're going to talk about the market correction that we had the last few days, you know, and, and the topic of losing money. Um, sometimes, you know, I may even, if I have time, I'll place a trade live, but standard disclaimer for all the skeptics and people who believe in unicorns and think you can get rich quick. Uh, we are just sharing this for educational and informational purposes only. Uh, we show both paper trades and real money trades. You know, we're not giving investment advice. We're just showing you what we do, giving you inspiration and hope, showing you that average individuals can often beat the market despite what the experts say and options aren't as, as, as risky well if you're an idiot yeah they're risky but if you use them responsibly you use them correctly options can reduce your overall investment risk and provide a steady stream of income now with that being said what i want to do is the last few days here the market i'm going to show up some visuals here as i'm talking but the market went through a correction um, looking at my numbers the s p i think went down like 6.7 percent so today, um, I don't, I'm not going to show my trades. I go over my trades. I'm going to give you a, a summary. I lost money, but I didn't lose money. So on my account, it showed I lost money like everyone else. And there is a comment uh, on YouTube where someone said, well, it was easy to make money into February 2018 when the market went through a correction, or often you would hear it in different ways. It's anybody can make money when the market's going up. And they, they, they pretty much try to make it seem like, losing money is a bad thing like you're not successful if you don't make money during this recent correction that is a misguided belief because losing money is a part of all investing it's not about losing money <clears throat> per se peter coined it last week at it perfectly he said it's not about how much money you make it's about how little you lose so when people say oh it was easy to make money into february 2008 what they're saying is that and, and pretty much they're trying to make it seem like it's more important to make money than it is to, you know, get it. <laughs> <laughs> so when people frame it that way, what they're telling me is that it's more important to make money. And I don't believe that. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how little you lose. So I'm going to give you an example here of a, a fictitious person and what they probably went through psychologically during the recent correction and as well as give you some tips about what you can do and then i'll uh, uh give the floor to peter all right so recently the market went through a correction all right let's think of an individual who made maybe fifty thousand dollars a year he saved diligently he started early and there's some figure going around uh, on the web that says if you save 25 times your annual salary that's enough for you to retire so if he made 50 grand a year, he saved 25 times his annual salary. That's about $1.2 million. Now, market went through a correction the last few days, right? 6.7%. Here's what happened. 6.7% uh, of 1.2 million is $83,750. Now, I want you to think about something. Working in corporate America is not easy, right? Think about the commute, the crap you put up with. Think about what you put up with in an entire year, your worst day at work. I really want you to visualize that right now. Now, this individual has saved his entire life to get to a point where he can retire. And in a matter of about four days, he watched $83,000 evaporate from his account. That's almost two years worth of income. He watched two years of his life go bye-bye in four days. What do you think is going on in his brain from a psychological standpoint? You think he's like, oh, it's no big deal. No, he's freaking freaking out. <laughs> he doesn't care what the experts say about, oh, it'll come back and no, stay to stay the course. He's like, man, I cannot get those years back, right? And what if it doesn't stop? What if it continues at this pace? You know, I'll, I'll be broken a few months. That's what's going on in his head. And the reason that's going on in his head, and he, well, and he's thinking like, I can't afford to lose money. And he's right. He can't afford to lose money because he's near retirement. And he's like, I can't mess with the stock market. It's too volatile. And he'll probably sell or get out. He's like, oh, the stock market is risky. And he's right. But here's where he's also wrong. 
he's wrong because if he had the proper education and if he had the proper strategy, he wouldn't have been freaked out. Yes, his account still would have been showed down like mine was, but when I look at my account, I'm like, yeah, it shows a loss, but you know what? The moment I get tired of seeing that loss, I'm going to click some buttons and I'm going to file an insurance claim with the exchange. And what that means is I'm going to get all that lost money put right back in my account. And that's called insuring your portfolio. The same individual is in the same position that me and Peter are in. That's one of two ways. You can insure your 401ks. You can insure your 403bs. You can insure your TSPs. And that what ticks me off is that out of all your years of investing, no one sat you down and said, oh, here's how you insure this so you don't lose it, right? So brain cramp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they don't. I lost my I lost my train of thought there, <laughs> but let me let me move forward. And actually, I'll have a video later on. I'll just show you later. On. I'm getting I'm I'm losing my time here. So that's one tip. Uh, you can insure your portfolio and imagine what that would cost, right? Well, how much would that be worth in the last market crash? If you participated in it, 2007, 2009, what would you have paid to make sure you didn't lose 50% of your account? Because that's the one complaint I get. Well, this insurance costs money. All insurance costs money, right? But the insurance I teach people to buy in the Success Academy averages about 3% a year of your entire portfolio balance. So imagine losing, you know, half a million dollars in the last market crash, and it only costs you maybe 3% of your total portfolio value to have insurance. And you did the same thing I did. You follow an insurance claim, which pretty much means you just click buttons and tell the exchange that, hey, I want to exercise this insurance contract, and they put all that lost money back in your account. So that's tip number one to not freak out during corrections. Have your portfolio insure it, then you won't have to worry about freaking out. Second tip is, let's say you're not in stocks, you're an option trader. Well, if you have 10 grand in your account and you lose 100 grand, I mean, it's not 100 grand, you have 10 grand in your account, you lose $100, you have $9,900 left to trade with. Are you going to be upset? No. That's tip number two. Don't flip and put yourself in a position to lose a lot of money. You don't have to worry about, you don't have to freak out when the market has these little minor corrections, which are normal, by the way. You don't freak out because you don't have a lot of your money out in the market anyway. So those are my two tips. The third one is we can offer to help you and show you what Peter is about to show you in the Success Academy because enrollment opens Monday, October 15th. That's where we truly can help you. But even if you don't enroll, I want these videos to add value to your life. I want you to be better off after watching this video. And just remember those two tips if you don't join us. One, you can insure your portfolio. You need to look that up and research how to do that. And I will do my part. Matter of fact, I'm going to make that one of the premier videos when I open the Success Academy, showing people, even people who aren't going to enroll, here's how one of the ways, one of the many ways we insure our portfolio. So I'll do that for you when the Success Academy opens up Monday, October 15th. Now, lastly, I want to share an example of someone who wasn't freaking out during the correction, and that is my co-trainer, Peter. So with that being <laughs> said, I think that's all. I'm looking at my notes here. That's all I have for you. Let me turn the floor over to Peter so he can... Uh, wow us here with all the money oh you know what before i do that peter i have i think i have let me do my stopwatch here i think i have ah i ran over can i make two you trades can real take, quick? take as much time as you want no no i'm gonna make two trades here here's another reason why yeah. i wasn't freaked out i was actually pissed off at myself that i didn't have more money i love corrections that's the time for me to buy but i use those corrections that 6.7 percent drop to set me up for next year's profits and so i'm gonna make two trades here these are trades for next year let me look over my notes here trades for next year that I want to place. And I want to explain it for you. I'll just do it real quick. Matter of fact, let me do it while Peter is talking. That way I don't take up his time. I will do it while Peter is talking. And then towards the end, I'll just show you the profit I made with these two trades. So now let me turn the floor over to you, Peter. Okay. Thanks, Travis. Okay. So what I'm going to show you guys, I don't really have um, anything new from my trades per se to show you guys. Um, if you've been following us, you saw my, uh, you've seen what I've done. And right now my trades that are currently open and running, um, they aren't weekly ones. They, I went farther out, 
um, and I explained that in my last in our last video. So watch that video if you don't understand what I was talking about there. Um, what I really wanted to cover, and I thought this was the perfect time to do it, was um, my AT and T. The Success Academy members know I talk about AT and T all the time. It's one of the companies I've invested in, uh, and it's one of the companies I continue to invest in because it's a dividend stock. But it's not just any old dividend stock. It's what we call an aristocrat dividend stock, which means it's paid its dividend. Uh, at least 25 years, it's actually not paid its dividend, but it's increased its dividend year over year for the last 25 years. That's the minimum requirement to be in a dividend, an aristocrat dividend stock. I think AT&T is actually 30, close to 33 years. Um, but anyway, uh, many of you that have watched the video and you haven't, go to last week's video, you'll see I had a couple credit spreads on AT&T. And one of them I exercised a little differently where I, uh, um, AT&T was falling at the time. I had a $34.50, $34 credit spread. I had 30 contracts. So basically what that credit spread does is it um, it has built-in protection. Um, the credit spread was designed to make me money if the stock goes up. So when the stock goes down, you lose money. So I changed the way I was going to um, end that trade instead of buying it back for a loss what i did was i ended up selling the 34 dollars puts that i owned i had 30 of them i think i made an additional thousand dollars in revenue um, and then i knew i would get exercised to purchase at&t stock at 3450 which is exactly what happened then at&t stock tumbled this week along with everything else and when I wrote up this if you guys look at my spreadsheet here or my uh, my word sheet here you'll see AT&T was at 3195 I think today it's gone back up above $32 but either way let's just go with these numbers so most people will focus on this right here paper loss um, they'll say yeah but you just you know you you were assigned and you lost seventy six hundred dollars in in a couple days that's what the average person would see. I know better, and I know better because this is what Travis taught me. Number one, this is the dividend payment I received just recently because I owned AT&T stock on the ex-dividend date, so I'm being paid $1,500, so that erases some of that 7600 But here's the total gener uh, revenue I've generated on AT&T since June 21st okay so not even a full year $8,200 my next dividend payment which will come before the end of the year will be another $1,500 right so I'm going to generate a total of $9,700 those two numbers um, take it takes into account if you guys remember I had a, a $1,200 loss on one of my vertical credit spreads that number takes that into account so in the year um, or six months, I've invested $103,500 in AT&T, and in those six months, I generated $9,700 in revenue, which is equivalent to 9.45% return on my investment. And yes, there's a risk of $103,000 uh, going to zero. The reality of that risk is minimal because I've done my research on the stock I'm invested in. Um, so that's that assumes I won't continue to make any more covered call revenue from now to the end of the year. But the reality is I will, um, because as AT&T, if AT&T continues to decline, I'll sell more covered calls and I could generate upwards of about $885 per month based on the number of shares I own. Um, but that's an assumption, okay? Looking at next year's projections, if AT&T continues to go down, right? I Remember, I bought it at 3450. Uh, if you know anything about covered calls, uh, uh, when when the stock is declining, um, you're you're safer with your covered calls because you won't get exercised. As long as the stock stays below your covered call price, you're good to go. Um, but let's just take that out of the equation for now, and look at the dividend. I'm guaranteed four dividend payments next year of six thousand dollars. If I do covered calls with it declining, and I can earn six to eight hundred a month this calculation of five thousand dollars is based on six hundred a month um, my total generated revenue for next year will be somewhere around eleven thousand or ten point six two percent so that's pretty good i think in in if you look at things now if you want a higher income uh, or revenue than that then join the success academy we'll teach you that because this isn't even taking into account all the other things i'll do in my trading account now if at&t moves up above 3450 from now until you know the next uh 
2019. I can only say I'll have the four dividend payments, but my additional revenue will depend on my strategy. Um, and what I mean by that is, um, if my if eight if I see AT and T hit its all time highs it was at before of forty one dollars, I'm most likely, um, depending on my financial position, I may sell a covered call well in the money to sell out my stock at forty one dollars. I paid thirty four fifty. That's additional revenue, and then wait for AT and T to drop again, sell cash secured puts, and buy it all back again at a lower price. Um, so. That's basically what I've done. That's what I, what I really wanted to show you guys. When I saw AT&T drop and I knew I bought it at 34.50, I wasn't concerned in the least bit because number one, my, I know the dividends. And that kind of brings me to a different point. A lot of people invest in Facebook or other stocks. And the main reason I don't do cash secured puts on Facebook, and I'm not giving you guys any advice, but the main reason I don't do that is because when the stock drops, when Facebook drops, I don't have this. I don't have that dividend payment coming in either way. I lose money. It's a paper loss, sure, but the only way for me to recoup it is through covered calls only and the stock price coming back. At least with AT&T or a dividend stock and a good paying dividend stock like AT&T, I'm recouping a lot of my paper loss in my dividend payments. Um, that's it. That's what I really wanted to cover, Travis. All right, my friend, that was uh, beautiful, and you just shared one of the secrets. I didn't talk about it, but if people are uh, filling in the gaps themselves, let me help you fill in the gap. Uh, Peter just shared a secret, secret by showing you his dividend payment. For those who are educated enough, uh, dividends will pay for your insurance. In the Success Academy, I show several ways to get other people, other strategies to pay for your insurance so it won't cost you anything. Peter doesn't have insurance, but if he did, we won't even talk about it. We won't pick on Peter about not having insurance. But uh, if he did have insurance, then not only would it pay for his insurance so that he's guaranteed not to lose money, um, but he also can profit during the downturn. So there are ways to profit during the downturn. You can have a bulletproof portfolio that's fully insured, and um, you can profit during a downturn. And so if you, matter of fact, what I will do uh, is I'm going to show you an old video. I'm going to mute it. I'm going to pull it up here. You're going to see an old screen as I'm looking for something real quick on my platform. It's an old video I recorded for Success Academy. I remember showing them what this looks like when you exercise an insurance contract. You will see me pointing out how much I paid for GLD. That's the gold uh, stock there. Gold actually went down after I bought it. Then I exercise my insurance contract, and you will see me pointing out how much money they put back in my account. So that is me, you know, filing an insurance claim and then having all that money put right back in my account. Now, I said I would place a few trades, and I did. I placed a couple of Buffett strategies. I'm not going to pull those up, but I wrote down the profit here. It's $3,320. And if you've been receiving these videos, watching us for any length of time, you know what the Buffett strategy is. So it's $3,320 I just made during a time when other people are scary. Now, it's not the weekly profit we've been earning on these uh, recap videos, but it is profit I'm carrying over to next year, setting myself up for next year's trades because – what we do in the Success Academy is change your psychology to begin to love uh, corrections and market crashes. When everybody else is fearful, you recognize it's the best time to invest because those times catapult you forward to wealth. Those are the best time to build wealth because everybody else is freaked out unloading their stocks. You're scooping in for a discount and getting really, really good deals. Not only that, not only just getting a discount, but again, when we show you the insurance strategies, you can be assured that, you know what, I'm fully protected if it keeps falling from here. So with that being said, uh, we didn't pick on Peter. He's all suit and tie today. I'm not even going to let him uh, explain that. He's just making me look bad today. But uh, we hope you all enjoyed this recap. <laughs> we hope you all enjoyed this recap, and we can't wait to welcome the new members into our family next Monday. You all take care. See you. Have a great week. Stay encouraged. There is ways of profit in this market. All right. Bye-bye.